This is part two of Wendy's awesome project management dashboard series. In the previous video, we created a fully interactive and a dynamic project Gantt chart. In this video, we are going to create not one, not two, but three beautiful project progress charts. Let's progress. To start off, define your overall project progress in a cell. This could be either a input value like the way I have done it here, or it could be a result of a set of formulas or another pivot table output. Now we will use this number to create three types of progress charts. Depending on what you prefer, use one of these in your dashboards. Let us start with traffic light chart. Traffic light chart is by far the simplest one to create out of all these three. Just say in a simple blank cell equal to and get the project progress value. Oi, you can download this Excel file from the video description below or the card that is linked up there. Once you have the copy of value, apply conditional formatting new rule on that. The first rule that we will use is equal to that value under 50%. So if it is less than 50%, then we want to show, let's say, red color. We will add one more rule, which will be, is this value under 80%? If so, it needs to be amber. Finally, select the cell and apply green color in it. So now let's test this. I'm going to put 45 here. And we are supposed to get red, but we do get amber color here. Let's go and fix this problem. You can go to manage rule and take the red color rule and push it above. That coloring will be consistent. And we can test it for 65, 95 and the coloring works fine. So once this is done, we will use our hiding cell value trick with a custom code of semicolon 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 so that we will only have just the color the next step is copy this cell control c go to blank space right click paste special and select the linked picture option so we get a live picture of that cell if i say 50 percent here i get amber color 20 percent i get red color select this picture let's make it nice and big so we know what we are working with go to picture format options because this is a picture you can apply any of the picture formatting on top of this go to the crop option aspect ratio set it to one by one so that we will get a perfect square here go back to crop crop to shape and pick the oval shape this will now turn that into a circular crop if the circle has any non-rounded edges go back to the crop option and adjust your cropping for example if i make my image bigger and adjust it i will get a proper circle now we have a traffic light that changes the color i can test this i can put 90 percent and my traffic light turns into green let's make it a little more pretty and interesting we can use insert and insert a rounded rectangle around the traffic light and apply any necessary coloring around it and send it to back so we have a frame around our traffic light you can also select the traffic light itself from the picture format picture effects add a glow effect around it if you prefer finally select this and the other box and group them as one object so you can move this around and place it in your dashboards or report next we will make a thermometer style progress chart to create that you need an extra value of max this is just defaulted to 100 percent select your max and progress value and make a bar chart now we will turn this bar chart into a thermometer chart. Step one, select either of these series and from format data series options, set the series overlap to 100% so that one box goes and sits on top of another. Select the 100% bar and go to format, shape fill, no fill, shape outline, set it to dark green. Make the line a little bit thicker as well. Select the inner part and match the color to the same green thing. Now we have a simple project progress thermometer chart. You can change the value and this will kind of go up and down. So if I put 30%, I'll be here. 
if i put 75 percent i'll be three fourths the way let's quickly get rid of any of the unnecessary elements in the chart and we will have a nice progress chart for our third and final project progress chart we will make donut style progress chart to do this you just need to rearrange your data in this format print progress here balance is one minus progress and a set of dummy values i'm using 20 ones select these two values and insert a donut chart right click go to select data add a new series pick your dummy so we will end up with two sets of donuts one in internal one showing 75 and 25 and the outer one is printing the proportion of all these one values select any of the donuts and make the donut hole size 50 percent select these outer donuts from the format shape fill just pick a dull color so that all of them have the same color right click on the inner donut go to change series chart type the series one we will push it to secondary axis Finally, we'll click on the orange part, which is the unfinished or the balance portion. You need to click on it twice to select that from the format shape fill, no fill so that the background portion shows through. Let's go ahead and clean it up a bit. We will add one final detail to it. We'll print the overall progress as a percentage in the middle because that look nice and good. To do that, first select your chart, then go to insert ribbon, click on the text box option and add a text box to your chart. Click this text box from the formula bar, say equal to and point to the progress information. This will feed the progress value to the text box. So whatever this value is, that's what that value will be. Let's quickly apply some formatting on this. Our progress donut chart is ready. I can change this and my bar will move up or down on the donut wheel depending on how much progress has been made. The background dummy series works like grid line. Wendy is giving green light to our progress charts. In the next video, we will create visuals to show upcoming tasks, activities and a resource allocation. Check it out here. What's that? The light turned red. I'm coming, Wendy.